Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, so, what's up for Windows 10's security updates today, November 14, 2023? Well, first of all, the overall products of Microsoft altogether is 63 vulnerabilities. So, 63 flaws across all the platforms. Um, in Windows 10 specifically, we talk about 25 vulnerabilities. Two are critical, which are very important to fix, and 23 are important. The two criticals are HMAC key uh, derivation, elevation of privilege, and there's a Windows Pragmatic General Multicast remote code execution vulnerability. So these are the two critical flaws that could easily be exploited. For the rest, 23 important still needs to be fixed because, um, you know, this is important so today your updates came as um, windows 10 22 h2 of course and they came as uh, a kb version 503 for the cumulative update and there is also a dotnet framework that i got and um, the um, malicious removal tool update all of that were together on this machine, which is not a very performant machine, but does have a, a solid state drive, which makes it faster, took roughly 30 minutes from start of download to restart. So about 30 minutes and it was done. And what version number you should be at now, when you look at your Windows version, Windover, in Windows 10 22H2, you should now be at 19045.3693. So 19045.3693 is where we are at now with Windows 10 22H2. Uh, remember that if you had not installed the bug fixing updates for last month, they will be... Um, of course, the bug fixing updates will be installed at the same time uh, for uh, Windows 10, so we could make it a little longer to install if you haven't done so. So stay safe. Make sure that you install the updates as they keep you safe. If this is the number one reason you're safe, not antivirus. Once again, people think antivirus do something. It's very, very little security in reality. What security is what you do and the updates for security. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.